Good afternoon to you. I'm Claudine Wong. Mike and Gossi are, are off. And we begin with admission by PG&E about one of the fires burning in Northern California. PG&E says its equipment may have started the Dixie fire in Butte County. According to the Associated Press, the utility company told state regulators yesterday that a worker had gone to a power outage in that area six days ago. Upon arrival, he saw a tree that was leaning onto electrical equipment and there was a fire on the ground. He called 911 and Cal Fire was called in shortly after. The Dixie Fire has burned 46 square miles. It is still just 15% contained. And the River Fire burning near Yosemite National Park is now 97% contained. That fire started last Monday and has burned 15 square miles. There were evacuations in Mariposa and Madera counties, but everyone has now been allowed to return home. Crews expect to have the fire completely controlled by the end of the month. In Alpine County, south of Lake Tahoe, the Tamarack Fire continues to burn out of control. That fire has burned 36 square miles and flames have forced hundreds of people to evacuate their homes. There are now 500 firefighters from California and Nevada battling the Tamarack Fire. The flames have torn through remote areas where there are one lane roads and steep hills that are covered in leaves and pine needles. That is creating another danger for people who live in the rural communities of Alpine Village and Markleyville. Oh, it was crazy. I got video of it coming all over the ridge um, from miles on each side of the house. Well, the house is apparently still there. That's that's, that's the best the thing. thing. <laughs> yeah. But there were some people who weren't as fortunate. You never expect it. I mean, we got burned out in the same place in 1987. The biggest concerns today are dry lightning, erratic winds and high temperatures. The winds and temperatures in the 90s are expected to continue through next weekend.